Hi, everyone. Welcome into the Pelicans Practice Report. I'm Daniel Sowers, and alongside Jim Eichenhofer from Pelicans.com. No fireside chat for you today, but we are back home here at the Smoothie King Center, site of game number three tomorrow night between the Pelicans and the Warriors. And, Jim, after seven days on the road, it's nice to be back here in the Crescent City. It really is, and it's not just that week that we were at Golden State. There was a week in Portland. There was a almost a week at the end of the regular season. So it is great to be back. I know they're putting the T-shirts up right now. You're going to see a sea of red in the arena again like you did during the Trailblazers series. But we're just excited to be back here and to be able – I can't wait to see the atmosphere Friday for Game 3. And the atmosphere is certainly loud in Games 1 and 2 at Oracle Arena, and head coach Alvin Gentry hopes for the same here at the Smoothie King Center tomorrow night. Oh, I think any time you have a crowd like we had for the two Portland games, uh, it does nothing but help the players and uh, help the atmosphere and, uh, you know, just a, a different environment, you know, when you have that kind of crowd here. And I think uh, the crowd will be that much more uh, enthusiastic when you're talking about playing the world champs and, uh, you know, you're having Steph Curry and you're having uh, Kevin Durant in your arena. Uh, uh, I just think they'll be great. I really do. And I, I, our guys are looking forward to it. You know, we we understand that, uh, you know, where, where we are and what we have to do to, to try to stay in this series. Of course, things didn't go as planned for the Pelicans losing both games in Oakland, California. Here's what AD Anthony Davis took away from those two games. Of course, we wanted to get one up there, but um, I think the thing that we took out of it was, you know, game one. You know, we got punched in the mouth in game two. We came back and, and responded. Uh, we didn't win, but we showed a lot of great signs. And game three, um, we back at home. We try to get a win, but we got the same confidence. Um, you know, they still have to win two more games, you know, and you know, we only um, played two games here, but we've been good uh, when we're here at home shooting the ball well. So, um, you know, we have to be back home and try to get this. And Jim, it's nice to see Anthony Davis have some confidence in his team that the confidence has not wavered through games one and two. And they've been in this position before. They know how to handle adversity. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the biggest challenges in terms of you're playing against the defending champs and you're down 2-0. But, I mean, if you go back to the beginning of the season, um, they started off 500. They weren't even in the top eight of the uh, playoff race for a while. Had to go down to the last week of the season to get into the playoffs. So, um, lost a four-time All-Star to a season-ending season, season ending injury. Um, there's been so many things that they've gone through this year that I feel like they're at the point where basically nothing phases them. Of course, there were plenty of adjustments to be made after that Game 1 loss in Oakland, California. Drew Holiday thought the defense was much better in Game Number 2. We did a lot better. Um, we did a lot better. Um, there was a couple of lapses, I know, from, from myself um, going under, uh, knowing that they could shoot three. Yeah. Kind of, kind of well. I guess, yeah. <laughs> guess they're, all right, they're all right at that. But uh, um, we did, we did way better. Um, stuck to our man. Uh, just being able to get contested twos. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. So Jim, we heard from Drew Holiday on some of the defensive improvements in Game Two. What did you like defensively from the Pelicans? I think the biggest one was to give yourself a chance against Golden State. You have to eliminate as many of the easy baskets as you possibly can. In Game One, there were way too many instances of a guy cutting to the basket, somebody for the Pelicans st standing too straight up on defense. Somebody cuts behind them, gets an easy basket, a dunk, or a layup. So it seemed like they cleaned up a lot of that stuff. Um, Steph Curry comes back, makes a bunch of threes makes a 30-footer a couple times. There's not a lot you can do about that, honestly. But I thought the biggest thing that is in New Orleans' control they took care of as far as just reducing how many mistakes they made and making it a lot tougher for Golden State. Golden State's going to make some tough shots. They have a couple of the best tough shot makers in the entire league. But um, New Orleans just did a lot better job defensively, even though they still ended up giving up 121 points. And the Pelicans will play here tomorrow night at the Smoothie King Center, 7 p.m. tip. We hope to see you there as there will be a sea of red, red T-shirts and white rally towels will be given out. And again, we'll have plenty of coverage on Pelicans.com, the mobile app, and you can follow on Twitter at PelicansNBA. For Jim Eikenhofer, I'm Daniel Salerson. Thanks for watching the Pelicans Practice Report.